Welcome back. The Nigerian government has opened the second Niger Bridge to vehicular movement in line with the federal government's plan to ease traffic in the southeast during the festive season. Uh, 42 months after the construction began, the opening of the bridge for uh, the U-Tide will ease traffic flow, improve road safety and create greater opportunities for local residents and advancing the commercial viability of the uh, immediate area and of course uh, regenerating economic life. The Minister of Works, Babatunde Fashola, whilst inspecting the bridge, advised road users plying the bridge to drive safely and responsibly in order not to defeat the purpose of its construction. The 1.6 kilometers long bridge, 10.3 kilometer highway, and Oweri interchange is a key national infrastructure with immense socioeconomic benefits for the contiguous states and indeed the entire nation. I think this is so, um, this is a brilliant, laudable achievement. And um, I'm hoping that this would actually fulfill the purpose why it was being created. Um, yes, I mean, so just for clarity, it's only just open for the u -tide. It will be shut down again. And it's just, I think, just one lane of the bridge that is open um, at this time. And it's very um, important, Osagi. No, it is important. Because, it's, it's important. As that, I mean, people who are going out, people who go out a lot will tell you that even at 1 a.m. in Lagos, there is still traffic. Yeah. Especially now. In the past few days, it's like the traffic has doubled. It's increased. It's Typically, the places you wouldn't expect, expect to see traffic, we're seeing traffic there now. So yeah. that's very important. So, so, so it's, um, it's, imp it's important mostly because of the, uh, you know, how significant this is for people who are moving from Delta State in Asaba, I mean, from South South Nigeria into the East proper, um, they would find this very useful. Um, but of course, like they've said, it's just one side that is open and it's only just to ease traffic in the Utah season. They will continue work and it will eventually be finished. This, the conversation about the second Niger Bridge started as far back as 1952. Um, um, eventually, when the Babangida government came into power in 1984, 80, 87, I, be, I believe, um, they did, of course, you know, have plans to continue with the construction or start the construction of the second Niger Bridge because it was stated back then that the first um, uh, Niger Bridge, the current one, was dilapidated and it was failing. And so they planned to start a, a, another bridge, but eventually didn't because the um, uh, Babangida government uh, back then in Nigeria was a little chaotic. There was a lot of controversy, so they didn't. In 1999, when Obasanjo came in, it was one of the things that he, former President Tulushuk Obasanjo, I beg your pardon, um, one of the things that he also mentioned that he was going to um, build, still didn't. It was one of those political promises. I think it was just about five days before he left office when it was handed over to Umaru Musa Yaradwa, the late uh, Musa Yaradwa, that they then started to do some, you know, groundwork, you know, and have conversations about the, the bridge. So it didn't, you know, work. When former President Goodluck Abele Jonathan was also in office, it was one of the things that he promised. And they started, I mean, I think it was his government that was maybe the first one that had started at least the architectural paperwork, you know, somehow, some way. They had given about a, a 300 million naira contract then uh, to, of course, get the, the um, paperwork started. Um, but he still didn't do it. And then eventually the current administration came in and um, into office in 2015. In 2018, they started construction of the bridge. And eventually, you know, has gotten to the state now. It has officially opened, um, at least for the U tide. I'm sure it will be shut down again, and then it will have a complete um, work. Now, but you've you've chronicled the the year, the journey, the, yeah. The journey. Through. Would you say that in some way this would uh, positively influence the reputation? No. <laughs> so, so this is why, and this is there are two things that I was going to mention also. So, first one, this this <laughs> this bridge. <laughs> has not come without its own controversy. The first one, one of the first ones that started was the, um, the idea of tolling on the bridge. There were people who were angry that they were going to toll, you know, put a toll, uh, toll gate on the bridge. Sense. Exactly. I mean, for, 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 for some people, they agree with it because for those who have traveled even out across the world, major roads and bridges and expressways are tolled, which is, which is fine, Do as long as there's the, an alternative. And you can, what is the toll money being used for? For example, we had the, the Lekki One toll gate, and before the, the NSAS protest, of course, it was a major cause of traffic on that yes. road. Yes, I agree. So you're asking... Mostly because, so the reason there was, it was cut traffic, because there's no alternative. So when you are tolling any road, bridge, anything, kitchen, bathroom, as long as there's a toll there, there's always meant to be an alternative road. So the, the people who pass the tolled one only passing there because they're trying to be faster or they don't want to pass the alternative road. But in the Lagos example, there is no alternative. Mm -hmm. Or the alternative one through Oniru has been bad forever. And so nobody was passing it. So the second Niger Bridge was meant to be tolled and there was some controversy over that because some people thought, well, I mean, you, 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 you built the bridge, you might as well just open it up. You don't need to toll it. And it's going to be expensive for for um, travelers and all of that. That was one of the uh, controversies that came up. They still haven't gotten to a conclusion with that one. And then second was the naming of the bridge. 
there were, in, um, you know, um, thoughts of to name the bridge Muhammadu Buhari uh, Bridge. And of course, because it's in the southeast, and people of the southeast were not, you know, have not necessarily seen the current administration as their favorite, they are not too fond of the current administration. And so there was some controversy over why it will be named Muhammadu Buhari Bridge. They, they wanted it to instead be named um, Ojuku Bridge, I believe, you know, um, or something like that. Um, of course, Ojuku, Ojuku, Ojuku is... Um, uh, popular Nigerian, um, I do, what do I call him? Freedom fighter, you know, for people in the Southeast, the Biafra, you know, the, the origins of, of the whole Biafra controversy. Um, but that's, you know, with regards the bridge so far. Um, I would say congratulations to people, to Nigerians, congratulations to the current administration for being able to at least, you know, start the process and, of course, see to its conclusion. And for those who are going to be using the bridge, I hope that it does 100% ease traffic flow. Um, in the Utah season. And for those who are really going to be chaotic. using the bridge for campaigns too? I mean, whichever. It's not, it might not change anybody's mind, but, right. you know. All right.